Hello students, in this video we shall discuss MCQ pattern based questions on the chapter decision making statements or known as conditional statements, which is part of the division of class 9 syllabus. Now in MCQ pattern question you will have questions from the theory section from the syntax based on the predict the output and true and false. Let's see our first question. Which of the following are conditional construct? If else, if else if ladder, switch statement. All the three are conditional constructs. So I click on all of these. Don't click on one, click on all of these. Condition is essentially formed by using arithmetic operator, relational operator, logical operator. So all of them together form the condition in your conditional statements. Which operator cannot be used with if a statement? Now we cannot use the first one. You can see less than equals to is a relational operator. Double straight line is for OR operator, double AND is for AND operator, and the fourth one is ternary operator. This cannot be used in equal statement because ternary operator or the con is the conditional operator. It is an alternative form of the if else statement that helps you to write conditional code blocks in a more concise way. So ternary operator cannot be used in your if else statements. What will be the output of the following code? Now, in the following code, you can see in size is assigned the value 2. If size is less than 0, system.out.println and small. Else if, if size equals to equals to 0, then medium else. So none of the condition matches. So it will come to the last condition that is to the else part. It will give me the output to be large. We go for the next question. If A, B, and C are the sides of a triangle, then which of the following statement is true for if A not equals to B and and B not A not equals to C and and B not equals to C. So this is the condition of scale in triangle because in equilateral triangle, all the sides should be equal. Isosceles, two sides should be equal and the third side should not be equal. So this is my statement for scale in triangle. Two arithmetic expression can be compared with if statement using the relational operator you cannot check with arithmetic operator because they will always give you arithmetic result ternary operator itself cannot be used because it is a replacement of your conditional statement so the correct answer is relational operator we go for the next question a java program executes but doesn't give the desired output it is due to the logical error in the program, the syntax error in the program, the runtime error in the program. Now the statement is a Java program executes. Executes means it's not a syntax error, but doesn't give the desired output. So it will be your logical error. Because of logical error, it will not give the desired output. What will be the output of the following code? Now over here, int root equals to 3, switch root plus 1. So now the value of root has become 3 plus 1, 4. So which case will match? None of the cases will match. So my correct answer will be rootless. Rootless is my correct answer because the value of root in root was 3. But in switch, you can see I have changed to plus 1. So one value, since it has increased, the value has become 4. There is no case for the fourth one. So I'll choose the default one because if none of the condition matches, then the default statement is executed. Choose the correct option. If the code mentioned above is written using ternary operator. So the correct statement will be x equals to c greater than d. So then in that case, x will be assigned the value c, else the value d will be assigned. So the first one is the correct answer. We go for the next question. If A is greater than B and A is greater than C, then which of the following statement is true? A is the largest number. That means A is greater than B and C, so A is the largest. In a switch case, when the switch value does not respond to any case, then the execution transfers to the default case. Break statement brings it out of the switch case. But if none of the conditions are satisfied, then the execution will transfer to the default case. Consider the following uh, code snippet. Which of the following statement is correct? 
value equals to two, switch value to well, you can see case two is having case two will be executed. So some dot out dot println case two will be executed. A sequence of statement enclosed between a pair of curly bracket is called a compound statement. So you need to be very thorough with your theory because if you give a correct answer, you get full marks in MCQ. If you give a wrong answer, then you get no marks at all. Which of the following is a compound statement? Now in this, you can see first one is your assignment. Second is also an assignment statement. Your third one is a compound statement. Which clause is optional in the switch statement? Default case switch. Which can you give? Optional, if you don't give, it doesn't matter. The correct answer is default. If you don't give default, then it will give you no output if none of the cases are matched. But you cannot leave the case statement and the switch statement because all of them are important. Next question, which of the following statement involves fall through? In switch only, we have the problem of fall through. What is fall through? If there is an absence of break, then the following case will be executed. Even if a matching case is found in the absence of break, the following case will be executed. Which of the following causes of fall through in the switch statement? The omission of the break statement. So choose on omission of break. Which of the following is which of the following is mandatory in the switch statement? The correct answer is case. Without case, you cannot write your switch statement. Which of the following statement is a valid combination? If inside switch, switch inside if, else inside switch, default inside if. Now, the statement 1 and 2 are correct because if can be inside switch and switch can be inside if. But your else cannot be without an if, so else cannot be there alone inside switch. The first one is correct, that is statement 1 and 2. What will be the value of n after the execution of the code given below? Int x equals to 2, m equals to 1, c equals to minus 1. Int n equals to x plus c. So first n equals to x plus c is executed. So 2 plus minus 1 will give me 1. Next time is n equals to n minus c plus x. Now in n the value 1 is there. So 1 minus within bracket I'm writing minus 1 because Minus minus will become plus. So 1 plus 1 plus 2 will give me 4. So the final answer is 4. Always do a dry run when you are doing program so that it, you will get the correct answer. And if or else if statement accepts dash as input before branching, it accepts a boolean value before branching. And if statement is also called a conditional statement. State true or false. Every if statement must be followed by an else or else if statement. It is not mandatory. You can have only if statement also in Java. An else statement must be preceded by dash statement. It should be preceded by if or else if. Because else cannot stand without an if statement. Next question. State true or false. A single line comment or multi line comment is allowed in between the if and the braces. Yes, it is true. The comments are allowed in between the if statement and the braces. Next question. State true or false. And if code, statement code must be defined in between two braces. We go for the next question. State true or false. And an if statement code must be defined in between two braces. Now here it says an if statement. If there is one statement, it is not mandatory to use the braces. But a multiple group of statements will be there. Then we need to use braces in that case. Next question, state true or false. An else or else if statement in Java cannot exist alone without if statement. This is true. You need to have a if statement or else if statement for the else statement to exist. The next question, the condition of an if statement evaluates to boolean only if the expression contains all logical operators, relational operator and boolean operands. All are required to have a condition on if statement. 
we come for the next question. If the condition of an if statement is false, which is true below, the else block is executed because it says that if statement is false, if the statement is true, then the statements following if will be executed. If the statement is, if the condition in if is false, then the else block will be executed. So I hope you have understood this part and you can check for the other part of the conditional statement MCQ pattern also for further more questions. Thank you, children, and all the best.